WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, well, still sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and currently we have a bit of a mixed bag out there. That mix is coming from the New York Stock Exchange and the Dow. They're trading a bit lower, 26 points for the Dow, 37 points for the New York Stock Exchange. Otherwise, all the other U.S. indices are trading to the upside. The S&P is up about 8 points, a quarter of a percent. NASDAQ 100, 8 tenths, or 94 points. Russell 2,000, half a percent. That's about 8 points. Semi is up uh, 1 tenth percent, 3 points. Trend is up 31. That's about a quarter of a percent to the upside. Gold's off 3 bucks. Silver's flat. Lights been crude back a buck 28. She's trading out at 84.45. Natural gas off 11 cents, trading at six dollars and 71 pennies. And the 30-year Treasury is off two ticks. 130.07 is the print. Let's spend a few moments. Take a look at our nine-panel market update chart. We go to the ES mini in the upper left. What do we have here? Well, today, although it does not show on this chart, uh, Friday was bar number nine of a TD9 count. That says this pattern will complete today. That suggests we should see a counter trend move. Spot volatility still well above its 50 day exponential moving average. This 50 day is printing at 2529. If we do get that counter trend rally, we should see the spot volatility pull back towards its 50 day exponential moving average. The NQ, that's the upper right hand chart, although not shown on this screen. Friday was also bar number nine of a TD9 count pattern. That suggests, and you can also see both, both of them have the A to B equal C patterns. Those need bullish reversal candles to confirm a bottom, but you will get a completed TD9 count bottom pattern today. That suggests a bounce. We take a look at profile wise, the ES mini could bounce up to the 3898 level in the case of the uh, NQ, the area we'd be watching would be the 11,899 level. If you take a look at the U.S. dollar index, that is on fire, but that's due to the other currencies failing out there. Um, so we'd have to go take a look at those in detail. But, but there is no topping signal inside the U.S. dollar index as we speak right now. Gold has an A to B equal CD to downside. Today, I believe, is bar number nine of a TD9 count. We'll have to look during the show. It's either today or or uh, Friday's session. So that too should get ready for a counter trend move. In the case of uh, silver, this is pulled back to where a counter trend rally would find support. And that is the center of its bearish structured daily profile. And that's at the $18.42 area. Lights we crude, I don't have a bottom signal there. In the case of natural gas, it's in an A to B equal CD to the downside. It needs a bullish reversal candle to confirm a bottom. Otherwise, its next price target to the downside around 648. And a 30 year treasury also has an A to B equal CD pattern. It, too, needs a bullish reversal count. Otherwise, it's suggesting lower price. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z Show. But if you're off to start your Monday, please have a magnificent one. And we'll look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care.